Well, it's lunchtime and uh, I've been kind of wanting to try this place out. It's here near my house. This is a, a real old school place. <laughs> when I was a kid, this is the kind of burger place I would go to. You, uh, you have to walk up and order your food and wait for them to cook it and then bring it out to your car. Usually you would eat it in a park or something, but uh, anyway, yeah. Now this place has been open since, uh, let's see, 1954. So, 67 years, that's a long time to be selling burgers. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this place out. Uh, and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so <laughs> that was a blast from the past. Uh, yeah, you just go in there and order your food and uh, make it. And I got a, I got a little piece of paper here. Let's see if I can show it. So when my order's ready, they're gonna call it. All right, so. Uh, Take a look and see what we got. By the way, that's RC. They don't have Coke or Pepsi or anything like that. They have RC. How long has it been since you've had an RC? For me, <laughs> a long time. Yeah, it's definitely a different taste than Coke. Uh, a little sweeter. And then I, I got the fries, a little crinkle fries. Pretty good. Let's see what the burger looks like in a sack you can see all right toothpick I got everything with mustard yeah looks pretty good looks like a burger doesn't it I'll tell you what the place is kind of expensive though uh, <laughs> it was like uh, three dollars or four dollars for the burger and 250 for the fries and 250 for the drink so no uh, I know it was almost, it was $10 all together. So, no value meals here. Uh, but, let's see the burger. Let's see how that burger is. I'm gonna give it a try real quick. Well, yep, tastes like a burger. Pretty good. Yeah, you know, for your young whippersnappers, this is the way we, like I said before, this is the way we ordered burgers. We didn't, uh, we didn't have drive throughs then. So, when I was a kid, there's a place just like that at my high school. We would get out for the day, walk up and get burgers and shakes. Of course, this was back in the late 70s and early 80s. That's how old I am. But, uh, fond memories. This place has been here a long time, though. <laughs> Since, um, I think I told you, 1956 or 54, so almost 70 years. Anyway, well, while I'm eating this, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it on the news, but Dusty Hill passed away, the uh, ZZ Top um, bass player. Really bummed me out because I was a huge ZZ Top fan. I am a, Z a huge ZZ Top fan, and uh, I think LaGrange is one of the greatest blues rock songs ever recorded. I love that song. Never get sick of it. I was watching a ZZ Top documentary, and Billy Gibbons was talking about his vocals. You know, when you listen to that song, his vocals are so strange, you know. We want to get around in that Texas town. Anyway, he talked about how he got that vocal styling they were recording in Tyler, Texas, and uh, it was winter, so he stripped down to some shorts, and he ran around the house outside for like 10 minutes till he was freezing. He didn't have shirt on or anything like that. He just had a pair of shorts on, and once he was good and cold and freezing, he ran in and he recorded that vocal, and that's why it sounds like it does. At least that's what he says. Pretty crazy anyway, but I love that song, LaGrange. 
I love all ZZ Top songs, but I particularly love that song. Uh, here in a few weeks, the wife and I are going to actually go down to Central South Texas and go to the town of LaGrange because if you know what the song's about, it's about the chicken ranch in that little town uh, that was in operation until the mid-70s. From like, It was an operation from like 1901 to the mid-70s. And at its peak, it had 16 ladies working there. But it was nicknamed the Chicken Ranch because uh, during a depression, you could pay for an evening with one of the young ladies with chickens. So if you didn't have any money, you're a gentleman and uh, you didn't have any cash, but you had some chickens running around the house, you could grab a couple chickens and go to the Chicken Ranch and spend the evening with the young lady. And so, they got lots of chickens and they got nicknamed the Chicken Ranch and it stuck. It's also the uh, subject of uh, a movie, you know, the Burt Reynolds, uh, I think it was Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton, the best old whorehouse in Texas. It was also a play. But, uh, yeah, that little uh, Chicken Ranch was quite famous. Now, it's still standing, from what I understand, it's in ruins, but I want to go down at, to LaGrange, Texas and actually see it. And while we're down there, we're going to go to... Um, we're going to go to Brenham, Texas, where uh, uh, Bluebell's World Headquarters are. We're going to go to Shiner, Texas, and check out the Shiner Brewery. And we're going to stop in Waco and uh, go to the Dr. Pepper Museum. So I'm going to do a video on all that. So it'll be a, you know, a fun video where you, where you see me and the wife hanging out there and seeing these kind of unusual places. So anyway, uh, yeah little bit of a uh, shot back in time for me eating this food so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna drink my RC <laughs> honestly how long has it been since you had RC uh, comment below and tell me but uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna eat my lunch in my air-conditioned truck it's 101 here in Texas today so uh, hopefully uh, the engines not too loud in this video but uh, yeah till next time Spoda out